welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lily and today I'm going to share with you a recipe that was inspired by my sister-in-law Jordan. So if you're watching, thanks Jordan for giving me some inspiration for this video. So she asked if I can make vegan strawberry banana bread and I never made it before but I was thinking, hmm, I'm sure I could do this. So I decided to give it a try and it turned out great. So let's go ahead and jump into the recipe and I'll show you guys how to make it for yourselves. The first thing that I do for this recipe is wash and prep my strawberries by dicing them into small pieces and I use about a little over a cup. And next I juice a lemon, about half of a lemon, and then I just fill up uh, the rest to the half a cup mark with the soy milk and that's going to create a buttermilk. And then for the flax egg, it is two tablespoons of ground flax seed and six tablespoons of water. And then you just set both of those aside and then we will add them to our wet ingredients in a minute. Next, of course, you gotta mash your bananas and the more brown and ripe the bananas are, the sweeter your bread is gonna be. So I used three large size bananas for this and I just mashed them with a fork. You can also use a potato masher that works really well. And just make sure they're all mashed really well. Then you can add in your buttermilk and your flax eggs and then i add in half a cup of maple syrup to sweeten it you could also use agave and i'm just going to mix everything together well and then add in the vanilla extract as well and the salt i like adding the salt to my wet ingredients because i find that it absorbs better instead of adding in the dry ingredients next i use white whole wheat flour in this recipe and i just measure out two cups of that and I do use the spoon measure uh, method that way it is more accurate and then I add in PB2 powder this is PB2 pure and I use four tablespoons of that and this helps add some fat to the recipe and I find that it works really well and then I add in half a teaspoon of cinnamon that's optional, but I think it really helps add to the flavor. And then to leaven it, I add a, two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. And just mix all of your dry ingredients together. You gotta mix really well um, with that PB2 in there. So just make sure it is all mixed and then you can add it into your wet ingredients a little at a time. I do about a third of the mix, mixture at a time. And then just fold your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. So you don't want to like stir vigorously. You want to kind of fold like that. So, so that your batter doesn't become too dense and overworked. Just add in the next part and do the same thing. Take your time and really just fold it in there. Add in the last little bit of flour and then mix it just a little bit and while there's still some flour left add in your strawberries and this will help suspend your strawberries in the loaf that way your fruit doesn't sink down to the bottom and it just helps distribute the strawberries all throughout the loaf so just continue to fold and get your batter mixed well do not over mix your batter next i line a loaf baking pan with some parchment paper and if you crumple it up it really helps it form to the pan better so that's what I did here and then I'm just going to add the batter to this oh and make sure your oven's um, preheated to 375 degrees and I believe this is just a standard size loaf pan Make sure you get every drop of this goodness in there. And I am going to slice some strawberries to go on top. You could also do a uh, half of a banana sliced and um, put on there long ways. But I like the strawberries since this is a strawberry banana bread. And the strawberries look really pretty for Valentine's Day as well. Which is coming up this week. And just arrange them nicely. I just did them in two rows like this and I thought it looked really pretty. 
and it's going to go into the oven at 375 but immediately turn the oven down to 350 and bake for one hour and you're going to let this cool in the pan for 10 minutes and then you're going to take it out of the pan and place it on a cooling rack and let it cool for another 10 minutes while in the parchment paper And then you can remove the parchment paper. Be very gentle while doing this. If you let it cool properly, it should come off no problem. Just make sure to take your time. And once you have the parchment removed, let it cool another 10 minutes. So it's a total of around 30 minutes cooling total. And it is so totally worth it. You do not want to slice this early. Please wait. So I just flipped it over on a, on a nice plate. Very scarily. <laughs> and I am going to slice this up so that you guys can see how delicious it is. It has a really good outer crust and that's because we started the bake at 375 and then dropped it down to 350. And then the inside is so crumbly, but so moist. You can just see how delicious it looks. All right, guys, I'm so excited to try this strawberry banana bread. I can't wait any longer. I was so patient. I let it cool for like 30 minutes before I cut into it, which I'm so glad I did because it is cooked perfectly and it just looks so good. Okay, let me go ahead and give it a taste. Let you guys know how great it tastes. <laughs> it's not too sweet. The crumb in it is perfect oh my gosh it's moist the strawberries and the banana mixed together so delicious now it's gonna be impossible to stop myself from eating this whole loaf this weekend but i'm gonna try my best gotta get jake down here and let him eat some of it too i hope you guys decide to give this a try and if you do please comment down below and let me know what you think about it and as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that i can keep making more content like this bye